Hey. Uh oh. Oh yes, band. indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. This is a club, not a podcast. This is actually a club. Oh yeah. Called the Move Club. The Move Club. Everybody got to move. Get it? You got to move. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuned in to the hottest podcast across the land, the hottest podcast across the globe, and definitely the hottest podcast right here on YouTube Live, baby. Yes, you already know what time indeed. it is. Indeed. I go by the name of Patient Zero, my beautiful co host right there, Nikki P. Nikki P. Yes, indeed. And uh, we go by the name of Move. Make sure everybody entertainment, make sure everybody podcast, Move. And thank you very much for sticking in with us. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Moving through. We're moving her, through. But... <laughs> Nick P, do you know what this reminds me of right now? What? Howard Stern and Robin. Oh my god. <laughs> Howard Stern and Robin, baby. I love it because I got my shades and you're like in a different place. And I'm like all it. dark and oh my different god. Different corner. It. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Howard 2.0. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Happy Friday welcome. to everybody. TJF, we made it. We made it Happy Friday. I don't know how. What a week. Oh my god. Nikki P, we say that all the time, but seriously, but really? this week, yeah, what a week this has been. But we made it and we're here. And uh we like to think of this as a distraction. So if you have any craziness going on in the world, any you know, madness in your life, any chaotic situations, share going it with on, us. Share it with us. Yeah, comment below. Please. Yes. And if you're just joining us for the first time, this is a variety show podcast, and we talk about anything and everything. We talk about anything from mental health and addictions, having sex with gay midget aliens. Coming but Nick B, since yes, absolutely. Since we are on YouTube, tell the people what they got to do before we even get started. Well, please, everyone, please, Patient Zero and I would be very appreciative if you please type in your browser, Mixture of Variety Podcast, on YouTube as well. Please li- please click subscribe, like, comment, and please share. Because sharing is caring, and we love you for it. Yes, we do, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for all that. And thank you for following us on Instagram. Our Instagram yes. is at Mixture of Variety. That's at Mixture of Variety. You guys could probably guess that. Yeah. Um, that's where all the fun is. You'll see some of the craziest matters of your life, but also you'll be in the know. You'll know exactly what we're talking about that night. You'll know... You'll have uh, promos, you know, kind of like next week. Like, like what's me. next? What's yes. next week? Exactly. One week from today. Oh, I know you guys saw the quick the quick promo at the beginning of the show. But one week it. from today, ladies and gentlemen, is our annual Halloween podcast. That's right. Woo! Annual Halloween podcast. We are very excited about that. I'm very excited. I know Nick P is excited. I, I hope you guys wait. are excited, too. It's going to be a ball, I tell you. It it's going to be a ball. And much scarier than uh, recent uh, movies we've seen. <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, I have to get caught up, actually. I was supposed to see, well, the one trash one that we did, I was going to talk about last week, but it was absolutely trash. It was uh, Halloween Ends. I'm not going to say anything unless you guys want to watch it, but please, trash. Very sad. Very sad. Yeah. Very disappointing. But then there's I that. I get the backstory, but yes. I, I wanted more. Yes, for sure. Much more. Much more. And I don't think he's coming back <laughs> this no. time. Um, but then there's Smile, and then there's the Terrifying one. What is it oh called? Oh, my God. Terrifier 2. Terrifier Ladies 2, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Those are the two. Uh, the first Terrifier is on um, Prime. There is commercials. But let me tell you, <laughs> low budget horror is so Ooh. scary. Oh yeah. I was That's like I was hiding under the blanket and my boyfriend's like, um, you know it's fake, right? I'm like, <laughs> I know, but it's actually terrifying. Right. And the reviews for Terrifier 2 were, I mean, I wouldn't, patient zero wouldn't, but others who don't have stomachs to handle certain things apparently fainted and threw up. Yeah. I mean that's so why we're in. <laughs> when I yeah, when I hear stuff like that, you know, then I'm I have to watch it. I absolutely have to watch it. So we'll see. Maybe we'll have uh you know our own little commentary next week. But tonight is know. not Halloween. No, it tonight is, is not. what? Patient Zero. Maybe it is a sex show. We're bringing back the sex show um once again. You know, we haven't we haven't had that in a while. 
because, especially because our audio show is kind of on hiatus right now. But as far as the YouTube show, I mean, get ready. You know what I mean? We need to get these clicks up and the shares up and all that stuff because we want to we wanna break records with this one. Anytime we have a sex show, it's always good. Um, but this is going to be pretty amazing. This is something that we never talked about, Nikki B. I know. I was surprised. We are all going to learn together how to cultivate light and dark sexual energy. Ooh. Light and dark more. sexual energy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? of course she heard. What did you say? There she is. She's what? out. Fresh, <laughs> fresh out of prison. Ladies and gentlemen, Granny is back in effect and she is in the audience. And, you know, you already know. I'm sure the audience is very happy about that. Give it up one time for Granny. Ooh. She's Ooh. out. She's out just in time. She's out for with the her three-foot dildo. Oh, man. Yes. If you want to find out all about Granny, she is the third co-host of the show, by the way. If you want to find out all about her madness and her craziness that goes on in her life, the nursing home, and she, you know, she brings drugs into the nursing home. She gets arrested all the time. She's three foot dildo that she brings everywhere with her. Please follow her at. <laughs> and that would be at Granny Dildo, one word. Granny Dildo on IG <laughs> if you want to see some wild Granny shit. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> But until then, Nikki P, I think we should get into the second segment of the show. What do you think? Let's do it. I think we should do it right about now. Everybody's favorite segment of the show, Mini Holidays. Ooh. My beautiful co-host is going to explain Mini Holidays right now. Well, I'm here. We here at Mixture Variety believe every day is truly a holiday. And you should be grateful and thankful for the things you do have instead of hateful and resentful for the things you don't have. Thanks. So luckily for us... There are lists for every day of the year, 365 days. So we're going to get into this on this lovely Friday, October 21st, All right. 2022. How is time flying, everyone? Yes, indeed, my God. Patient Zero and I, we do try, we never look at the list prior, mm. and we do try to do everything and celebrate within an hour. Oh, no, wait, two hours after the show, if, if yes. possible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if the show's over around 10 Eastern Standard Time, then we have two hours to celebrate, exactly. Yep. So we're going to do all these, and hopefully you guys can celebrate them too. Like, especially this first one, Nikki B. <laughs> What's the first one? Back to the Future Day. Hey, of course, Back to the Future Day. Gotta love Watch it. the movie or go back to the future. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I mean, would you go back to the future? That's, yeah. that's like an oxymoron, right? Yeah. Back to the future. <laughs> Nah. Back to the future. No, I'd stay right in the present. Yeah. I'd be fine with that. This is very easy to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. This one is Apple Day. Apple Day. Just go eat apple right now. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. You celebrate it. Oh, Simple I do that. this on a daily date basis. It is also Babbling Day. Babbling Day. All right. <laughs> we are celebrating that right now. <laughs> we just babble on a podcast and we celebrate it. Nope. That's fantastic. That picture is wild. <laughs> that has nothing to do with babbling. It's like some old man screaming. Breathing. That's good. Oh, this is nice. I like this one. Celebration of the mind day. Celebration of the mind. Something Celebrate we it. believe here. Mindfulness. Yeah. Celebrate it. Yeah. You know? Be thankful. Be grateful that you have a mind. That's yeah. a, a working, functional mind. <laughs> it is also. <laughs> Check your meds day. Check your meds day. Nikki B, did you celebrate that one? My vitamin meds, yes. Okay, vitamins, okay. And, uh, that counts. Yeah, I guess without going into too much detail, yes, I did celebrate this one. Next, <laughs> I also celebrated this one. Count your buttons day. Count your buttons day. I have As no buttons. See, some of these are hysterical. I mean, some of these are like, do people just wait like a yearly on their calendar? They just mark it down like, yay, count my buttons day. I, I mean, one can only hope. 
<laughs> right, yeah. See, but Someone then you have yes. something touching like this. Yes. It is also Developmental Language Disorder Awareness Day. Yes, and that would be something that would be on a calendar or like a march or something like that. You know, donate to a certain yes. organization. Very nice, very nice. Garbanzo Bean Day. Garbanzo <laughs> I actually Bean Day. Love Garbanzo. Yes. Yeah, me too. I didn't celebrate, but yes. No. <laughs> and it's actually one of the things I can eat. Uh, it is also Global Iodine Deficiency Disorders Prevention Day. <laughs> All right. Which I actually celebrated yesterday. I got a iron wellness shop, which had a bunch oh. of iodine rich stuff in, but it's not today. Oh, okay. All right, well, very cool. It's good to know. International Day of the Nacho. Oh, my God. International Day of the Nacho. I am one day short of this, like you be. Yesterday, I, I had Mexican food. I had, like, really amazing Mexican food. Oh, actually. my God. I'm starving. Yeah. So I did, I did celebrate that. Oh, of course, this one comes up. No, It is National Na Mammograph. I can't pronounce it. Mammogram Day. Yeah, let's just say that. All um, right. It is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So yes, I mean, that's, that's true. If you are waiting for the time to get one, now's the time, right? Yeah, the boobs. Men exactly. too. Yes, for sure. National Pets for Veterans Day. Oh my gosh, cutest thing in the world. Aww. Cutest thing in the world. But National Pets for Veterans Day. Yeah, I mean, they should all get some type of companion, you know? Yeah, I love that. It is also National Pharmacy Buyer Day. <laughs> what is you that? celebrate? Yes, I actually bought a whole pharmacy today. Oh, perfect. I wanted to, you know present the news here on the podcast, but actually just bought a whole pharmacy. I went to CBS. I said, how to much? Check your meds. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> it is also Nicky B National Pumpkin Cheesecake Day. Are you a fan? No. Me either. No. Not at all. I don't like I'm pumpkin not spice. Into pumpkin. No, me either. Everything is pumpkin spice. Have you noticed that? Everything is pumpkin spice. Every year there's like even more. They put pumpkin spice in everything. Yeah. No. Now it's pumpkin spice granola. Like, no. Everything. Gum. Fucking. <laughs> it's just Gum, incredible. Condoms. <laughs> and more. <laughs> condoms. That's the best one yet. Yeah, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> It's also, it's also <laughs> National Witch Hazel Day. Okay. Which is an amazing astringent for your face as well. Yes, it is. I do celebrate that. Some of my face, facial products have something like that in it. It is also Reptile Awareness Day. Duh. Reptile Awareness Day. And, I mean, yeah, like you didn't know that. Did, um, did you check your... The alligators? I didn't check the alligators, but you know those little geckos? Geckos? Geckos. Yeah. Geckos? The commercial geckos. messes me up. Geckos? They're everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, yeah. So uh, I, I guess I celebrate that every day. So I'm definitely aware of them. Are you, you aware? You cannot be. <laughs> you cannot be aware of them. <laughs> you know? And going out with a bang, it is World Student Day. World Student Day. You Big should always be students. a student in life. Yes, indeed. And you guys out there are a student of this podcast. I thank you for tuning in. Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Mini Holidays for this beautiful Friday evening, October 21st. Please give it up one time. Ooh. Love All it. All right. Yes, indeed. So, like we were saying... It is a sex show, and thank you for staying with us. And we're going to get right to it because we're going to learn all together how to cultivate dark and light sexu sexual energy. Yeah, this will be interesting. I'm actually yes. really excited. Yes, I am too. Because before we get started, I just want to say, like, for me, just hearing about this, I want to cultivate both. I want to learn how to do both. I'm thinking of it more like light is more 
vanilla sex type stuff. You know what I mean? Like nice and vanilla, nothing special. Yeah. Missionary position, you know? And then like the dark sexual energy would be like punching you in the face. BDSM and <laughs> yeah. Or getting punched in the face. Right. I'm getting close. <laughs> Bitch, Some people ought to up. do it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. but that's that's what I think it is. But we're gonna learn right now what it is. Okay. So you want me to go first? Yes. You wanna go first? Okay, I'll go first. Start it <clears> off. <throat> Alright, so how to cultivate light sexual energy. We're going to light first. Light sexual energy booster. Number one, extended sil- silical sexual play. To tap into the explorative narrative nature, sorry. Of the light side, practice extending your sexual play by a few hours. Okay, I already oh. like where this is going. By a few hours. Okay. And by extending your sexual play by a few hours, I don't mean you need to go four hours nonstop at a trader for sex. <laughs> Although that would be fun. No. Because that would be fairly exhausting for both you and your partner. Instead, of the quick linear A B C D formula 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 okay formula attic <laughs> <laughs> yes this isn't live children just kidding way of predictable love making make night of it with your partner and see if you can let it all just be a big sexy pile of energy exchanging so I guess they're kind of talking like massive really? amounts of foreplay yeah right yeah like for a long ex- extended period of time of, of that you know a little touching here a little kissing here a little massage here um mix it up forget the order of things and just enjoy yourselves okay remember sex is about feeling not about performing mm. now i'm wondering and just think of it for a minute like could this even be like sexting with your partner throughout the day mm-hmm. like the build up yes as well yes it's got to be right because that's that would extend the time period of yes. this sexual energy this light sexual energy it would extend the whole you know as long as possible i guess yeah go throughout the whole day you're at work and you're significant other is at home and you're just like oh wait till i get home (laughs) take those pants off (laughs) yeah let's see light sexual energy booster numero two think up your breathing during any sexual play the light side of your sexuality is all about rapport and sameness whereas the darker side is more about momentarily breathing rapport and being more different than in your energies Mm-hmm. To boost up your light sexual energy, sync up your breathing during cuddling, foreplay, sex, or anything else you do with your partner. The mm-hmm. more connected you feel to each other, the more light side is in the driver's seat. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. And I I really, I, I mean, it doesn't happen, like, often, because I feel like... Yeah. You and I maybe are more of a dark, more uh, dark, I mean, in, dark energy in like, a yeah. sense. Yeah, that's why this is all like. <laughs> no, like, we're oh, like this, light. This sounds good. Hours. Yeah. Not like, you know, hardcore. Yeah, sinking up breathing. That's spitting in my face. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a little okay. bit less. <laughs> yes, a little bit. I like, can't breathe? On the light side. But hopefully you guys, you know, some of you might like it like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that would be something I would want to try at least. Yeah. Sync up your breathing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it would. It's interesting. It's definitely something to think about. Like, I don't know if it would get me going or get me. Wow. I up. feel like in that moment. But I will say for me personally, too long of eye contact really bothers me. Oh. I'm just like, okay, like, there's so many other things to look at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and what if it's boring? <laughs> then you're like, oh, God. Yeah, that's so true. That's so true. Now that you mention it, it's just like a little bit, and then it's just like, okay, that's... That's kind of, I don't know. I, I you have, I have... loud breathing. <laughs> yes, definitely that. Yeah, I've had some bad experiences, too, with just like... 
gazing in my eyes, just like, oh my god, look, like, look away. Yeah. That's that's never a good thing. No. Light sexual energy booster number three, spoil your partner. Be purely giving. Ooh. The light side is much more concerned with giving than taking. Okay, I like that. Amen. Give your partner what I call a spoiling session. Ooh. Spoiling session is an extended period of time where you do whatever your partner wants you to do for their pleasure. Hmm. All right. This could range from a back massage to extended oral sex or a new unique style of lovemaking. Whatever pleases your partner, do that. And do it for an extended period of time. And if you're looking to get more in touch with your sexual dark side, try any of the following four tips. All right. Then, then we're getting... Then we're <laughs> we're getting jumping into, right in. Jumping right in, yes. Um, Nikki P, I like this one. I like the giving rather than taking. That actually, you know, really turns me on for sure. Oh, yeah. You and especially I mean? when you're in that. And in a sense, I feel like you're taking that lightness and, like, adding that dark. You're in that gray you're in yes. the gray period. Yes, exactly. <sighs> All right. Well, we're sure. jumping All right. in head first. How Let's to go, ladies and gentlemen. Dark sexual energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <gasps> and now we're talking. All right. Dark sexual energy booster numero one. Lift really heavy things. Oh, man. Okay. Working with hundreds of men over the past decade on cultivating the darker side of their sexuality. Um, hold on. And for some people who feel especially closed off to their sexuality on any side of the spectrum, this is often an exercise that is recommended to start off with in order to reconnect with their inner beast. <laughs> nice. Ooh. The inner beast. Um, why am I thinking of Beauty and the Beast right away? I don't know why. <laughs> One of the fastest ways to reconnect with your internal beast is to do a heavily weighted compound exercise that firmly awakens you into your body. In order of efficiency for this particular emotional result, one would say that some of the best ones to start off with are one, squats, bench presses, or deadlifts. When you're mid-squat with anywhere from 100 to 250 pounds straddling your shoulders, oh my, and you could see your face in the mirror with a look of determined anger during the most challenging part of your lift. That is the entry point to the darker beast energy oh that we're God. talking about here. Wow, I, I love it already. I mean, that's that's crazy. So they're saying like you, you do deadlifts or squats or something like that. You're looking in the mirror and you're just getting it. And you're just like, you feel that rage inside of you. Like, I got to do this. And you, that's how you first begin to build this up and i i get that i mean i'm not you know squatting 250 pounds but even just looking in the mirror and doing like a press you know and like looking at your face and you're like yeah i got this i yeah. got this it's like proud and i'm gonna kick this weight's ass <laughs> yeah absolutely so i guess that's like the beginning of it I guess right. when you just like stir it all up and it's just like that's where it begins um and and a side note Nikki B, yeah all these things that they just mentioned like if you want to you know do some dark shit you want to do some crazy shit you want to do some crazy uh different techniques different sexual moves positions you gotta you know what i'm saying like you gotta be a in shape bench? Oh. <laughs> well, I was just saying, like, you got to be in shape enough because if you're thinking about, like, squats, I'm thinking right away, like, okay, that's a sexual position right there. Yeah. If you're doing um, lifts or whatever it is, you have to hold your arms in a certain position for a long period of time. That takes a lot of energy. You know what yeah. I mean? That takes a lot of strength. All right. Let's get right to it because we got it. It's all here. It's coming out now. Number Beast two. mode. Beast mode, yes. Try out light bondage and physical power play mm. oh, so the audience is with us on that one I'm right. with you. fantastic <laughs> let's see where this is going 
once you tap into your internal beast feels like once you tap into what your internal beast feels like it's time to start translating a piece of that energy dynamic into your sexual butt one of the fastest ways to add some sexual polarity to your bedroom play is to begin with some light dominance bondage or wrestling style physical power play mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i like it you can feel free to warn your partner ahead of time that you <laughs> think that's a bad idea. Please. <laughs> you just, Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. You just kick the bedroom door open in a wrestling outfit. <laughs> you can feel free to warn your partner ahead of time that you'll be wanting to try it out. You know your partner better than I do. Do you think that they would want to be a, that would be some type of surprise or they would appreciate the heads up? <laughs> <laughs> There's something very instantly polarizing about holding your partner's wrist, hands, arms down that add a new sexy energy to the, your dynamic. That's absolutely true. Yeah. And this reminds me of the foreplay show that we did when someone was supposed to be a burglar. Oh my God. Yeah. Break into your house. <laughs> you was that the role way. play one? <laughs> yeah. The role play one. You have your way with your, you know, it's supposed to be like. Never mind, but you get the picture. I gotcha. All right, so that's you know what? I love great. that because you could start it off as light, like tickling. Yeah. And then wrestling, and then yeah. bam, you're pinned. Right. And your shirt's mm -hmm. off, and your pants are off. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like that everybody should at least give it a try. And I also feel like maybe this is just coming from me because of my sexual preference, but I feel like there should always be, it doesn't matter if you're in a straight couple, a gay couple or whatever, that someone should be dominant and someone should be submissive and like switch roles just to see how that is. Yeah. I always, I always recommend that. I feel like that's dark energy too, right? Oh yeah. Dark fun energy. Like if you're, yeah, absolutely. Like if you're pegging your Big boyfriend. Dick energy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Count it. <laughs> yes. All right. What we got for number three? All righty. Dark sexual energy booster number three. Observe what you think about right before you orgasm. If you aren't sure about what kinds of darker things you would want to try out in the bedroom, one of the best internal limit tests is to pay attention to what your mind thinks about right before you orgasm. It's usually the least political, correct, and most erotic things that cross our minds from five seconds to 30 seconds before we climax. So what do you think about right before you climax? Whatever it is, it probably holds clues to some of your darker turn-ons that might be worth exploring in real life with an equally excited partner. Mm. Ooh, should we share one? I mean, I can't uh, recall, but I feel like what what I hear from this paragraph is like watching the hottest porn in the world. Yes. And then recreating that. Oh, yeah. Because I want to recreate that exact scene, especially if you're, they're saying like from five to 30 seconds, like I need to be in a situation where like this is the hottest thing in the world. Yeah. I've, I mean, luckily, I could say, I don't know if I could just say luckily because it was not a good time in my life, but I did <laughs> like do those type of role plays before where it was just like, oh, this is like the biggest fantasy in the world that people would yeah. just, you know, wish to be in my situation. And I was there doing it, and it was the hottest thing in the world. But yeah, what do you what do you think? I don't, I, I mean, I don't know how I'd feel about like rewatching, but I think like the videoing, recording uh, yes, would be yes, fun. Yes. Yes. Or knowing it's there. Yes. And just like being into it, you know, like it just yeah. tightens everything a little more. Yeah. Hell yeah, it does. And obviously, there's people out there that you know are watching that are not that's not into that. Maybe you should give it a try, or maybe you're just nervous because you think the tape's going to get out or something. Or even like photos, I you know something. Yeah, like absolutely. Baby steps into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I definitely hear you because once you know that that's there, it's almost like you want to go even more crazy. 
you want to act you want to act out because you know that it's just like i don't yeah i'm, I'm definitely the same way that that shit turns me on hardcore all right <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, I think our audience knows that by now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dark energy number four, right? Dark yeah. energy number four. If you are in a relationship, practice explicitly asking for what you want. Explicitly. This yeah. could start, like Nikki P said, this could start hours before in a text message. I want you to hold me, you know, pin me down as soon as I walk in the door. Yeah. Another real world, <coughs> excuse me, another real world example of how you can boost your ability to inha inhabit your darker sexual side, sexual self, is to be more assertive with your desires in your sex life. And this should be pretty easy if you've been in a relationship for a while. Yeah. While this could be quite challenging for a lot of people, <laughs> just, <laughs> fuck you. Patient zero is like, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, it should be easy if you've been in a relationship for a while. This could be quite challenging for a lot of people. Practicing explicitly asking for what you want can feel very empowering. Yes, it can. It can be as direct as coming up behind your lover, grabbing their bum, and whispering in their ear, baby, I'm feeling really turned on right now. How about you take your pants off and I fuck you on the couch? Right? Oh. It's a regular Saturday afternoon. <laughs> or as indirect as... How do you feel about playing around tonight? Yeah, see, that's like more indirect. <clears throat> How do you feel about playing around tonight instead of being like, we're playing around tonight? Yeah. I'm feeling kind of frisky and I'd love to try out a few new things with you. I guess you can start like that, right? Yeah. And then you can start like that and then you could walk into the room and rip their pants off without even saying anything. That's always a good thing. Generally, <laughs> the more detailed you are with your request, the more polarized, charged, sexy it comes across. Said in another way, it's hotter mid-sex session to say, touch, grab, lick my nipples, balls, ass. I'm about to come. Then to say, hey, if you don't mind, <laughs> hey, if you don't mind too much, would you mind doing that thing we talked about earlier? <laughs> Is this mid, mid fuck? Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. if, you're, if, you're, if you're saying that like mid fuck, then it's just like, come on now. You gotta be. I yeah. would just be like, do that thing we talked about earlier. Yeah, right. I mean, you gotta say it like that. You gotta, Doing anything. <laughs> right. If you have a loving and supportive partner who wants you to have an amazingly awesome sexual experience, it's probably for the best that you're as clear and direct as possible. I mean, you know, it just, it takes time. I, I don't know. You know, Nikki P. I have two things to say about this. One, if you've been in a relationship for a while, it should be easy for you to say that. Oh, it should yeah. be easy for you to say whatever you want. Feel completely comfortable to say whatever, no matter how raunchy it is, no matter how dirty it is, no matter if you don't even say anything and you just take action, like rip their pants down and start giving them yeah. that or something like that. <clears throat> hey, you want to go to a sex party? <laughs> yeah, all right. Why? But then the other thing is if you're not in a relationship and you're just hooking up with someone like spontaneously and it's not even like a friends with benefits situation, I'm talking about like a one night stand, it could be the same, you know, you could talk, it could be the same exact type of even more um, Exactly, because you're just like, you're never going to see this person again. Let's just get as dirty as possible. And yeah. Who cares what they think of me? Who cares if they go home and they're like, damn, what the fuck? Like, Oh, I was going to say, oh, they have a great story to tell. Well, they have a great story to tell, yeah. <laughs> right. And in conclusion, ladies and gents. Yes. Is dark sexual energy or light sexual energy better than the other? I don't think so, because I feel like it's all connected. Yeah. Like you said, the gray area. You could... <laughs> Like you could start right. light and dark, mm -hmm. yeah, or go sure. balls to the wall, dark or light. Right. At least now we we learned that there is a difference. Well, I mean the breathing thing, I never knew. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, right. And it, you know, I think for us too, we don't have sexual relationships. Relations, I mean. Relations, yes. <laughs> Patient no, Zero and I. But I I even think with us, like, you're truly in that moment. 
going with whatever comes in your mind and you're just like yeah 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 and yeah. like i think that's where the breathing sinks in too yeah, and i'm right. like oh i like that yeah which is why i see you know you could use both at the same time light and dark energy at the same time um for sure you could be in the middle of doing something light and then it turns you into a savage <laughs> and then you just flip to the dark side and you just say whatever you want to say you just do whatever the beast you has awoken yeah exactly. i like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah the beast has awoken wow so ladies and gentlemen that is the third segment of the show i guess the show and that is dark which one do you prefer dark energy dark sexual energy or light sexual energy dark which do you prefer? <coughs> you learn about Please both. Comment of them. below. <laughs> yeah, comment below. See, you know, give it a try. Right? That'll be your homework. We won't even be there. But you no. go ahead and you try it. Report back to us. Yeah. Leave a comment. And you know, we'll go from there. If you want to submit a video, we're okay <laughs> yeah. with that. Too. Absolutely. If you want if you want to try, you know, the camera situation, do it. You know? Do a little webcam action. You can send it right to us. Make sure at gmail.com. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, Nikki P, one more time. What do they have to do? Please, everyone, type in your browser, Mixture Variety Entertainment Podcast or No Podcast. You will see our beautiful faces pop up in front of your screen. And please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I go by the name of Patient Zero, my beautiful co-host right there. Mickey P. And we, we will love see you. you next week for the Halloween show. Happy Don't forget, Halloween. One more week. See you then. Good.